What's up? What's up, everybody? It's time for another episode of Free to Win the Series, where we only use two and three star monsters. We don't spend any money, zero dollars, not any money on the game. And two and three star monsters only. No net fours, no net fives, even if farmable, fusible, doesn't matter. Today, today what I'm going to show you is a bit of a doozy. It's when you see it, you're going to be like, what? it's going to throw people because it's, Dragon's B12 is already a hard dungeon, right? Dragon's B12 is already a very challenging dungeon. So a lot of people go in there with like all the Nat 5s, all the rune packs that they bought. I can't, still can't beat Dragon's B12. Why can't I beat it? I, I bought the rune packs. I bought the premium packs. I bought the summons. I got the Nat 5s. Why can't I beat it with the Nat 5s? I'm trying to do it with the Ladriel. I can't do Dragon's B12 with the Ladriel. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they get that. Now, anytime I try to do crazy videos like this where it's like, that obviously shouldn't work. People like, or especially early game players, like, you're cheating, you're hacking, you're obviously hacking. Like, what hack am I doing? What hack am I doing? Well, the hack that makes it work. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, so anyway, I understand that it's going to be a little bit jarring to see what I'm about to show you in a dungeon that is very challenging dungeon. Let's get it started because we should have already got it started already because it is not a fast dungeon. Yes. Not only, wait, 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 wait. Not only is, are we using, uh... A bunch of two or three star monsters, including Mav. We didn't even bother six starring two of these units, right? So I think, again, this is a little bit jarring for some people that are like, I'm having a lot of trouble with Dragon's B12. Bagel, don't you dare sit there. Don't you dare sit there and do Dragon's B12 with a bunch of monsters that aren't even six starred yet. With a Mav, the Wind Pirate. Uh, wind Pirate? <laughs> wind Penguin. Maybe he's a pirate too. I don't know. Maybe he just looks like a knight. And he's really a, uh, he's really a pirate, I don't know. Anyway, so, <laughs> the thing is, Mev is a very interesting monster to have in Dragon's B10. A, a monster that you would not really expect to be in, uh, sorry, not Dra uh, Dragon's B12, we were doing Dragon's B12. A monster you really wouldn't expect to see in a Dragon's B12 team. He is a wind unit, especially, he's a three star unit, and he is a, <laughs> and he's not even six star, right? So, Unit that you wouldn't really expect to see in a Dragon's B12 team. However, in the specific team that we're using, he makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, let's take a look at the team, because Mav's first skill... I thought we were gonna die there for a second. Oh my god, that was so close! Mav's first skill... Maybe we should six-star this, uh, this Ellen. Mav's first skill is basically pointless. Mav's second skill is basically pointless, right? Both of those skills, a uh, stun and a, and a provoke. Pointless for Dragons B, uh, for Dragons B12, right? Mav's third skill, however, is very interesting, especially with units that have really strong skill threes. Like, for example, Fran has AoE immunity skill three, uh, an attack power buff and a heal, very strong skill three. Uh, Bella has a heal, Bella has a strip skill two, uh, which is very important. Um, Spectra has a very, very, very important skill three, and so does Ellen has a very, very, very important skill three of controlling the enemy. AoE, attack gauge, reduction, speed break, and attack power break. Even though they're not using, yeah, there you go. That's why, that's why we need to do that skill three. So, basically the point of Mav is to give everyone else more access to, this isn't even the best, like, this is a kind of crappy run that I'm showing you guys. But the point of Mav, <laughs> Or why Mav can actually be used here. Not saying Mav is the best unit f at, for Dragons B12 completely. Um, kind of the point of him is to make everything else with really strong skill threes even better. So basically, that's that's what he's there for. Um, not only does he do the cooldown reduction for everyone's skill threes or, or the skill twos as well, but really, I'm, I'm more concerned about the skill threes than the skill twos. Um, he will also do a cleanse of the continuous damage, which is nice. He will also do a speed up, which gives your team more turns to uh, more turns to move, more uh, more turn cycling, right? So that's kind of nice there. And then we got the backlash, and we got some attack age reductions on the towers. And then we're gonna do. She's gonna do the wrong thing, of course, but that's fine because we still have Bella. And Bella's actually kind of uh, Bella's kind of smart with the, the AI, right? So Bella's gonna use a uh, skill two strip. And then he's gonna do his whatever skill two when we need to do the skill two, right? And then Mav's gonna come in. He's got his uh, wings of wind, and he, we're going to take one of those dots off. Boom, boom. And then we should have. Does that one have her skill three? Yeah, she's got her skill three. Resi you resisted everything. That's a 100% accuracy, Ellen. Thanks, come to us. Come to us, like you're welcome. We hate you. <laughs> 
100% accuracy, Ellen, gets resisted on every hit. This is not, I mean, this is not, the thing is, this is not like the most reliable team in the world. Or I assume this is not the most reliable, I, I didn't test this out for a whole ton of runs. I'm not saying go out and build this specific team. There's actually a better team, I just did a video yesterday on a team with the Water Homunculus. Really solid team, Water Homunculus, Vertiheel, uh, Ellen, 6 star Ellen, but that team still has not failed. It has not, I know it's eventually, at some point it's gonna fail, but the team still has not failed. Uh, I know that this team is not going to be 100% win rate. I mean, you saw Ellen almost die, but this is more of a just for funds, like, what, for entertainment purposes only, that this is, and also it's a little bit on the slow side, four minutes is not what you want from a Dragon's B12 run, but this is just for, for the lulls of, like, yes, we're using Mav in Dragon's B10, uh, sorry, sorry, Dragon's B12, Dragon's B12, we're using Mav in Dragon's B12, the point of Mav is, again, for turn- Let's take a look at the runes on this stuff, because it's just funny that this actually works. I was going through and I was I like to test things, right? I don't mind blowing energy if I learn something or if I find a cool new interaction that I didn't think of before, right? So I was looking through, I was looking through, I was like, oh, we can test this, oh, we can test that, oh, we can test this, oh, we can test that. And the cool thing about the Bella, um, the Bella's AI, uh, will only use, like, Lauren will use her skill 2 whenever, right? She'll be like, oh, skill 2! Like, Lauren, you didn't need, you didn't need to use the skill 2. Oh, really? Well, I used it anyway. I'm gonna use it again when I don't need it, okay? It's like, no, Lauren, no, please. Don't, don't do that. Um, so Bella, the nice thing about Bella is, again, very easy monster to obtain. All you have to do is yell in chat, in all caps, PLEASE INUGAMI LF INUGAMI SD PLEASE ASAP PLEASE I LOVE YOU LONG TIME WE'LL DELETE AFTER That's all you have to do in chat No don't do, please don't harass chat anymore please Please But um, yeah, but this is a smart AI which will seize when it needs to uh, And then I actually did tweak the uh, Again, it's on free to win account I did tweak the spectra because I wanted them to be a little bit better um, So these are the stats on the spe- you look at it, you're like, for many of you, you're looking at it, you're like, better than what? How bad was it before? Um, bad. Uh, but we got a little bit, a uh, little bit, like 250 speed on Swift. We got some decent crit rate, we got some decent crit, crit damage, we got some decent accuracy on him, which is nice. Uh, the Ellen actually has 100% accuracy. She's, again, on violent speed, HP, accuracy. She got 100%. Clearly, 100% accuracy is not enough. Everything's skilled up. It's important to have her skilled up uh, for skill 3. Um, yeah, and the, the faster and the more accuracy on her, the, the better, because basically she's just there for- she's just there for her skill 3, um, in these teams, right? And then the Mav is clearly on- I wanted to make sure that Mav was definitely as good as we could possibly get him by putting, um, God, what is this on him? Uh, HP, defense, de oh, that's why- yeah, he's got some tankiness, there we go, for a 5-star Mav. HP defense defense not max though of course why would we why would we ever want to max runes I mean why would we ever want to upgrade or grind or any of that stuff on the runes actually Mav is uh Mav is pretty good on two different things like Mav is actually a good unit I know we're joking here like using him in Dragon himself but Mav is actually a great unit for TOA you can put him on uh violent and focus for like TOA TOA hard he's a fantastic unit uh, Mav is also a really good unit on triple fight runes for uh, Rift Beasts. Weirdly enough, just because he gives everyone more access to this skill 3, and this is why, that's why he's here, uh, like, they're really, really strong OP skill 3s in those Rift Beasts that do, like, crazy amounts of damage, and, like, the circus comes out, and elephants, and they're like, whoa, oh my god, how, you get that skill 3 so much, oh, Mav, oh, cool, Mav, that's a really nice looking elephant. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like, no, Bega, we're having a really hard time following what you're saying right now. I can only imagine people that are like, speak a different language natively, and they're like trying to understand the English, and they're like, I understand a little bit of English. Did he say elephants? Did he, what? I don't understand this guy! I don't understand this guy. Anyway, uh, basically just for the skill 3, removes one harmful effect from all allies, decreases skill cooldown, and increases their attack speed. So we got the turn cycling, we got the cleanse of the dots from the dragon, um, and then we also have the increased cooldowns, and again, everything here has, like, this is a very important skill 3 to have, this is a very important skill 3 to have, this is a very important skill 3 to have. More so than the Bella, the Bella is just a nice, intelligent strip with skill 2. If she misses, Mav can still reduce her cooldown. I just thought it'd be a cool thing to see, man. I just thought it'd be a cool thing to see. There's a different team. We're not gonna continue running with this team. 
Um, I was just, I figured I wanted to share it. We were trying different things too. We were trying like, this guy's kind of got attack age reduction. This guy's not bad there either. Uh, Shylock is Shylock. You know, you, you know Shylock, right? Um, so we're trying different things to find the best, most, with poo poo runes and only using two threes for our monsters. Like, it's, it's not going to be fast. It's not going to be like minute to a minute 30 team or anything like that. It's probably going to be like a two minute team. Uh, but we're going to try to do a nice two minute team with as close to 100% success rate as possible. It's not going to be as fun as math though, anyway. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, share it with you guys. I thought you guys might get a kick out of using Mav in Dragon's B12. Especially 5 star, the things were 5 star, man. I thought it was funny. I thought it was uh, hilarious. I got a kick out of it. So I hope you guys got a kick out of it too. Again, I wouldn't recommend using Mav, uh, like doing Dragon's B12 with that. It just found a nice combo to make things work. And I, tr I tested out a bunch of different things, right? I, I tested out a bunch of th different combos. Like, oh, maybe I use this, maybe I use that, maybe I use this three, this thing, that thing. Um, so anyway, but the Mav, the Mav with, uh, the Mav with Fran, Spectra, and Ellen works uh, really surprisingly nicely. So anyway, I don't even know what we want from these. We're just summoning them because they're here. And then, is that it? Is that all it says? We have no sum- Oh my god, we have no- Who would have thought that on a free to win account? We have no summons. Oh right, that would- that's obvious. That makes complete sense. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, just for entertainment purposes, I would- I'm not saying go out and do Dragons B12 with three star mod with with only three star mods. Verti Heal is a great unit that you guys should definitely uh, definitely consider using. And the Water Homunculus is a fantastic unit. Both those units are super, super solid units. If you haven't checked out, like, again, I, I feel like this team is going to be around. It, I didn't test it to see the actual win rate, but I feel like this would be, like, around 80%. You want to do a better team than that. I would recommend, like, the Water Homunculus and Vertiheal are really, really solid, man. Water Homunculus, Spectra, Vertiheal. Like, that combo is just so good. Anyway, I did a video already on that uh, the day before I'm releasing this one, so definitely check. If you're looking for a good team that's free-to-play friendly, definitely check that out. Again, this one's just for entertainment purposes. I gotta say that 5,000 times. I gotta say that 5,000 times. Hope you guys enjoyed it. For entertainment purposes, I will see you as always in the next one.